Well, Tuesday marks 78 years since Japan surrendered to Allied forces during World War II. The day is known as VJ Day for victory over Japan. New at 6, Fox 23 weekend anchor Rick Marinam is live here in studio breaking down the celebration this weekend, Rick, and why this year is different. Well, for the last eight years, VJ Day has been a big deal in Broken Era thanks to the efforts of one World War II veteran. But this weekend, he said he's coming to terms with his age and he just can't do it anymore. For the last eight years in mid-August, a Green Country member of the greatest generation has been holding the greatest celebration right in Broken Arrow to mark the surrender of the Japanese during World War II and the end of the war. Uh, we remembered World War I with Armistice Day, and then they renamed that when World War II started Veterans Day, but we've never celebrated World War II, which is a far greater war than so-called World War I. Frank Riesinger has been the sole force behind VJ Day celebrations and commemorations for the last eight years, but this year and this past weekend was his final weekend in charge. I served in World War II. I just served the last year of the war, but I was thrilled to have served. Frank is not just proud of his own service in the Army, but he's proud of his country. He's traveled around the world and where veterans are needed in parades and events and to hand out flags, he's shown up in full uniform anytime, anywhere. But turning 97 years young on August 20th, Frank, a man who has already done so much, says he's finding it harder to do much more, especially in the way of big events. And this will be the final celebration because I'm running out of steam. So when the eighth and final VJ Day ceremony was held over the weekend in Broken Arrow, it wasn't just a salute to what happened 78 years ago. It was also a salute to Frank for his work over the last eight years to help us all remember freedom isn't free. I didn't think that many people would turn out, but it's thrilling to have this number or any number to come out and help me celebrate because it's so thrilling for me. This VJ Day is especially interesting with the hit movie Oppenheimer playing in theaters talking about the dropping of atomic bombs on Japan. If the bombing did not deter the Japanese, Frank and others were set to invade on October 1st. Live in studio covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News.